In the short video we will show you how to handle timeouts. Timeout extension is reached when the caller has been inactive for some period of seconds after a prompt was played. In other words, if caller didn't press a digit after predefined time, the call flow will be continued at timeout extension. To demonstrate usage of timeout extension we will open the dial plan created in lesson 1. This dial plan answers the call, then plays sound file, and then hangs up. We will modify the dial plan by replacing playback block with background building block. The background block plays the sound file but unlike the playback it will collect caller's input. When caller presses a key or series of keys the sound file will be interrupted and the call flow will be continued at the extension that corresponds with the pressed keys. In this case the background block will play Hello World sound file in the background, while waiting for DTMF in the foreground. We will also add wait extension to give some extra time to caller to enter a digits. In our case the extra time will be 6 seconds. OK, now we have the call flow we wanted. If the caller takes too long to press a digit, 6 seconds in this case, the call flow will continue at timeout extension. And we will add timeout extension that will return the call back to the background block so the caller hears the voice file again. So, in this call flow, if the caller does not press a digit in 6 seconds the call flow will be returned back to the background component and the caller will hear a voice file again. This is typical scenario for the timeout extension. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please go to forums.upstill.com. Full functional free of charge trial version of Visual Dial Plan can be downloaded from our website www.upstill.com